and again, I, actually, I'm going to hand over to Ryan now because I've got a few thoughts on a lot of this. But I, Ryan, what about you? If, if you've got a story like this where, you know, or, or if you've got a regret that you think, you know, I really should have pursued it, whatever. What, what, what's on your, what's, what's for you? Not really, no. I mean, you said, you said that there are professional wrestlers and professional footballers, so it means that people can make it. And I don't disagree with that. Now, while Lee was kind of telling you his story, I did a bit of internet searching and there are currently 223 wrestlers signed to the WWE, which is what, as a child, you would define as being a professional wrestler because you you aren't really aware of much else that goes on around it. You might be aware of a few feeder, feeder shows that perhaps move into that. My knowledge of it is poor, so that could be completely wrong, but it wouldn't be beyond the realms of possibility to assume that exists. There are also 7.753 billion people on the planet. Would you like to hear what 223 out of 7.753 billion is as a percentage? Go on. I'm going to tell you. 0.00000287630594609%. So that means less than 0.00002% of people are professional wrestlers on the planet. So I think even as a child, you learn to understand that the odds are forever against you. Not impossible. Not impossible that you could win the lottery twice in a week. Not impossible that you could walk outside and get struck by lightning. But it's actually more probable that those things all happen rather than you becoming a professional wrestler from that age. And I think for a, from a, for a lot of kids, their parents probably give them a... Some probably a harsher lesson in realism, others perhaps a lot more gentle lesson in realism as to how, look, if you want to pursue this, by all means, but don't get ahead of yourself and think that it's that easy and that simple to go from where you are now to the end game, because clearly it isn't. So I, I wouldn't say that because there are pro footballers, we could all do it or because there are pro wrestlers, we could all do it in theory. Yes, but in practice and in numbers, no. Is probably the easier answer than by saying you've got more chance of being struck by lightning twice or whatever. That's probably where any dreams I had of huge international fame and success probably got extinguished. But that doesn't mean that, you know, what I've chosen to do is a disappointment on that. It doesn't mean that I made, you know, I'm annoyed at the life decisions that I made. I just took a a, a reasonable, took a reasonable decision to live my life in favor of the odds. Just because I'm not a pro footballer or a pro wrestler doesn't mean I can't be a, a, a wildly successful businessman in whatever way that that looked when I was 14 and whatever way that looks now, you know? So just because it isn't the dream I had when I was seven, it doesn't mean that it, that it, is, it can't be successful and I can't be happy as a result. 